some of them are good, aren't they? Apples. When you dehydrate them, they um, the sweetness comes out in them. <laughs> My hubby is sitting across the table from me, so if you hear anything, it's him. He's peeling apples for me, aren't you? He's my peeler. Tomorrow is our 46th anniversary, officially. We met on the 10th, but we got married on the 13th. A few years later. Anyway, I'm going to start the cooker, and I'm going to cook some noodles. My induction cooker, I bought these noodles. And they are wild garlic egg pasta. So I thought they would go good with uh, my homemade Italian Alfredo sauce. I know y'all like Alfredo, but I really don't like it in any kind of a jar. So I'm going to cook these and then I'm going to put the Alfredo sauce on top. And of course, you all know I smell everything. That's what they look like. They're garlic infused. And they're named Risa. Risa noodles. And where I buy these, I will buy noodles if I don't feel like making my own or something. I will go and stock up at um, Big Lots. They have really good egg noodles and different kinds of noodles. So, as soon as that water gets up there, I'm going to put some salt in the water. And we're going to use, I'm going to put these in the water when the noodles cook. Uh, they're little chicken strips. I use them for potato soup, and you can use them for all kinds of things. And I have a big bag of them in my freezer. So anyway, I always use glass when I use the Parmesan cheese, the butter, and the whipping cream. This is what I'm going to use for my sauce, for my homemade Parmesan Alfredo sauce. Now what we'll do is while this is getting up, let me put that on sear so it'll go higher. And what I do is I take the butter, a whole stick, you could use more if you want. Just open it up and go around this dish about middle ways. You take your butter and go around that dish. See? Go around the dish. Let your butter stick onto that dish, and that's why I use glass a lot. You see how I'm doing this? I'm just putting that butter, sticking it all around that dish. It could be a little messy, but that's okay. It's gonna taste right. My hands are clean, so. Just going to put that all the way around there. So now this is what your dish is going to look like to start. Okay. 
It doesn't matter if you get just a little bit more on one side or the other, just as long as you have that. Around the middle of your dish, I know you. if you're like me, you're going to make a mess and get it all around it, but that's okay because it's supposed to be on the sides of your dish. I still missed it. <laughs> I was never meant to be a basketball player. So anyway, we're gonna do this and then I'm gonna show you the rest when the noodles get ready to put in there, okay? And that water's coming up to a boil, which I probably should have already had it on a boil before I put this on but it's coming up. I want to get one of my big things to get the noodles out. If you don't want to drain your noodles, you can just take them out with this, with one of these. My noodles are going everywhere because I opened them. So we'll just set these right over there up upright. So I hope you're all doing great today. Uh, I'm having a very lazy day. I just got off of a weekend with uh, my oldest son, his wife, and two daughters at the college at Findlay. I was very, very impressed with Findlay, Ohio, how it's laid out. It seems like a comfortable little town but they have everything that you would go miles and miles to find, like Cracker Barrel and Cheddar's and all them places like we have to go to Kentucky. You know, if you go to Finley, they have all that wrapped up in one down to McDonald's. They have stores I've never heard of, motels I've never heard of. And um, the one store that we went to that I showed you the kitchen items was Gabe's. It was called Gabe's. And I was having a ball in there because the prices was so low. So we'll get busy at this. But the main thing you want to just go ahead and do is uh, make your butter room temperature and put around your bowl. Okay. So this will be coming up to boil here just soon. And then we'll put the noodles and chicken in there. And I got out two of these whipping creams in case I want the sauce to be a little more saucier and stuff. You can buy whipping cream and keep it in your refrigerator. I bought this a while back and it's good till November 24th. So I always buy it and try to keep some in there. And then this I've had um, probably, uh, I've had it for at least two weeks. This says it's been aged for 10 months. So, you're going to use the real shredded Parmesan. You can actually get you some Parmesan if you've got them cheese shops in your stores and stuff where it's aged Parmesan and you just take your little scraper and scrape it. I don't have that, so I'm using this already shredded. Probably should get the other kind if you can because it just makes it that much more great so anyway you know we had a good time we walked a lot I mean they did more, way more than I did but for me with my legs I walked quite a bit and got to see my granddaughter I hadn't seen in a while so it was a long trip, but we had fun, you know, driving and driving back and stuff. My son did all the driving. Didn't have to drive any. And he is very, very courteous. I mean, he just, I don't know. He just, uh, I watched him with his family and he just takes care of things, you know, and it's good to see that. Made sure I was all right.
that's starting to come up to a boil now. So, you know, we had fun. We ate at Cheddar's. And I got to tell you a little story while this is coming up. We had this young waiter, and he was very, very courteous to us, made sure we had promptly had everything we needed. And um, I ordered this sandwich. I can't remember the name of it. It was a big, like, sandwich. And it had turkey, chicken, and ham in it, and cheese. And it was like a club sandwich, but it had turkey, chicken, and ham and cheese. And they had this um, dough, like breaded stuff over it. It wasn't like a sandwich. It wasn't a bun. It wasn't bread. It was breaded. So I tasted it and they sent me out some ranch, which I didn't eat, and a little thing of raspberry jam. And I thought, raspberry jam why why would you eat raspberry jam with a sandwich and i'm sitting here depicting everything you know and figuring it all out and i thought the batter was so nice let me show you i got one left But everywhere I go that I haven't been, I'm always asking about the food. And here is, let me get it out of here. I brought it home. Because they just give you so much food at Cheddar's, you just can't eat it. But this is, This is the sandwich. Of course, it's cold now. Remember, when they brought it to me, it was hot. And they gave me raspberry jam with it. And I was thinking, what, wonder why they gave me the raspberry jam. And this is cut in triangles. You get one great big thing and it's cut in triangles, which I ate one, and then I had to bring the other three triangles home. But anyway that's what it looks like and so i got the raspberry jam out and i started dipping it into it and eating it and i thought wow that's really good it is you wouldn't think it would be but it was really good with the savory and the sweet raspberry jam and so anyway i was eating it let me see if there's anything else in there it looks like there's two different kinds of cheese in it, it might be white cheese and yellow cheese so anyway, I um, ate it and that the boy came back and he asked us if he could help us with anything. And I said, yeah, what do you make? What's on the outside of my sandwich? And he said, well, it's our own homemade, ba uh, own homemade batter. And I said, batter. So that led me to believe very quickly that it probably was a batter from like pancakes or waffle because that's the consistency and that's the taste of it. So I asked him, I said, oh, your homemade batter, huh? How do you make it? And he, he went, he, he started to walk away because he can't sit there and tell me that he makes. And so anyway, he started to walk away and I heard him under his voice a little bit he said pancake as he walked away and turned away from me i thought now why did he say pancake i said i think that was for me so as i got to thinking it's got something to do with a pancake batter type thing and then they add their stuff to it and i'm thinking pancake batter pancake waffle batter with maybe some um like a soda or something in it to bring that the way it is could very well make that batter. So I'm going to try that uh, this week sometime or sometime soon whenever I get the guts to do it. I think I can do this. And so he came back and my son said, can, can she have some more raspberry jam? 
So he gave me two more little tubs of raspberry jam and I brought it home. And uh, so when I make them, I'm going to plan on using raspberry jam like they did. But I didn't think it would be very good with ranch, but it could be. But I'm with the raspberry jam with the batter on that. So, I mean, this was amazing, this sandwich. And I, I can't remember the name, but I will find the name for you. Um, I kept forgetting it, and my daughter-in-law kept telling me the name of it. So, it was really, really an experience for me to have, to be able to figure out the sandwich that I ate, or part of the sandwich I ate. I've never seen so much food on a table that they, they give you. So anyway, I got it in here, I brought it home, and I'll be working on that one. Because pretty much, really all you have to do is put that, line that stuff up, your meats and your cheeses, and dip it down in that batter, I think, and deep fry it real quick. And that's, I think that's what it is. And they called it some fancy name. And I sure fell for it. So anyway, the water is coming up now to a boil. So I'm gonna put these in. The wild garlic noodles, egg noodles. And I won't put a lot in because I doubt we're if we eat a lot. Every time I fix too much, we don't eat it. So I'm just gonna do half a bag and keep the other half and put it in a container. So while them's cooking, it won't take them long. I'll be getting my whipping cream open, shaking it up. And I'll show you another step. Getting that open. So that's open. And then I'm going to open the Parmesan. And that will be a step that we do. Okay, now you know I got my butter around the bowl inside. The glass bowl. Now, I'm going to pour this Parmesan right into that bowl. Okay, I'm going to heap it up. Taste it. Mmm. Mmm. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make an island with this. I'm going to make an island in the middle of this bowl. Okay, here's my island in the middle of my bowl. Just pull it all up in an island. Let there be a little river room around, okay? Because that's where you're going to put your heavy whipping cream. i got to wait till these noodles get done so we can... Because what you're going to do as soon as these noodles get done you're going to pour them right into you're going to pour them right into the um, your ingredients here I went ahead and put the rest of them in there because it didn't look like a lot your apple thing, my noodle thing. We're neither one good basketball players. So here we got this waiting on us now. This is something you can prepare before your noodles get done. And I've got the chicken in the bowl. I'm gonna dump that in there. Okay. So I'm just gonna do the chicken and noodles together. 
and your garlic pasta has the garlic in it. So if you want to use more garlic, you can. But I really like it just like the way that the Italian woman showed how to make it. Showed me how to make it. I made this probably for the first time, probably about four, four years ago, and I really, really liked it. And after I tasted it, I never wanted jarred garlic sauce again. But I have made the jarred garlic sauce for my grandsons because they like it. My husband's over here peeling apples. I'm going to dehydrate him while I'm sleeping. So hi Amy, hi Kathy, hi Patty, hi everyone, how you doing? Hi Sally, hi Carol, hi Deborah, hi Pam, hi Diane, hi Angela, Brenda, Laura, Holly. Hi, how are you all doing? I hope you're all doing well. Our sun just now came out, the sunshine. And of course, we're still fighting all them leaves that wants to come down. Hi, Michelle. Hi, everybody. So this is just sitting here waiting, the Parmesan cheese and the butter around the inside of that glass dish. Hi, Gail. Okay, so I'm waiting on the noodles and the chicken now, and it's going to be so simple, you're not going to believe it. Hi, Anita. How y'all doing? We're making um, garlic noodles with homemade Alfredo sauce. And like I said, the Italian woman showed me, and I was amazed at how easy it was to make your own Alfredo sauce. It kind of makes me want to go to the store and get some of that big pie sliced Parmesan and just grate it off of there and stuff. But I got my little island in the middle and I've got my room temperature butter all around that glass dish, that glass bowl, waiting. Because this is what will go on next. The in it is the heavy whipping cream. And I'll pour that in right before those noodles get done. Which they're getting there. And also, I found my next want gadget. I'll tell you what it is later. But I found something I've been looking at and I'm like, is them good? Think um, that I will be using and wanting to use. I'm all excited about it. I think us women can always find gadgets that we want. This one doesn't have anything to do with dehydrating. It's got to do with something else that I do. Hi, Tammy. How are you? What you doing today? I hope you're all having a great day. Let me show you the noodles cooking up so you won't be just looking at me. There's the noodles in there cooking. Trying to get them up to a boil again. And I just throwed that chicken strips right in there, the grilled chicken strips. Hi, Gilbert, Marianne. There's my husband over there peeling. <laughs> Apples. <laughs> so we're just going to let them, and then here's a close-up shot of my glass bowl with the butter you just take you i showed you earlier just take your butter and put around it and then the um parmesan you make an island like this pull it up into an island 
And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your heavy whipping cream and you're going to go all the way around that island. All the way around. And make a little riverbed of your cream. Whoops. Can't do it without. I spilled it. See? Got to see what I'm doing here. But anyway, that's the way you do it. You... Oh, that heavy cream don't... <laughs> it doesn't wipe up as good as the other milk. <laughs> anyway, there's my little island with Parmesan cheese, the butter, and the whipping cream. So this is just now waiting on the noodles and chicken to get done so I can throw it in there. Okay. And there's the apples he's peeling. Okay. I've got a mess here. I'm going to have to try to get it cleaned up. Hi, Shirley. How are you? I'm making chicken alfredo the Italian way. I think I about got that mess cleaned up. Yep, that whipping cream, it doesn't clean up as good as the other. So we're just waiting on them noodles to get done that I just showed you. And then we'll throw them in here and show you how to put that together. I've been in the mood for these for over a week now. So... I'm going to have some. There we go. It only takes just a couple more minutes. How you been, Shirley? So I'm just trying to get some other things done to my husband is uh, for our uh, 46th anniversary tomorrow. He is um, fixing the back room for me. Uh, I used to have it as a bedroom back in there. And then our grand excuse me, and then our grandsons came and you know they had a bedroom back there and then now it's going back to like they're not here. So he's making me up a room to go study and get away for 15, 20 minutes if I want to pray. Uh, anything I want to do with it, it's there. And I thought that was very, very nice of him to do that. That way, if we have a lot going on out here and I need 10 minutes or 15 minutes, I can go back there and just think and reflect. It's always good to have a place to do that. And if he's out here in the kitchen, then I'll get out of his way and go back there. If I'm in the kitchen and we're not doing what we're doing right now, vice versa. But he's peeling onions, or onions, apples. I was going to make apple pie filling, but I'm not going to with these because I think there's like only two bags, so I'll dehydrate them and use them as a snack. But I've got celery to dehydrate. Now I want to, you know, I want to show you some stuff about the celery and peppers and stuff when you can them. You want to make sure that, or not can them, but when you dehydrate them. You want to make sure that you are uh, blanching them first. Because if you blanch them first, the pores open up in your vegetables and stuff. And then you uh, blanch them, take them out, and dehydrate them. And then pores are already open. The steam's already, the water part's already coming out. Just throw them hot or warm in your dehydrator. You don't have to piece them piece by piece. You can just put them in there and take your hand and rub them out a little bit. 
and they'll dry and when you rehydrate them then they will rehydrate back the way they were instead of being a little hard to rehydrate so that's a little tip i want to bring out about that so these noodles are getting now they smell a little different than homemade noodles or regular noodles because they got the garlic already in them in the egg noodle so i mean it is what 5 30 and i'm just now getting around after my weekend trip i just got back last night about 8 30 i think it was left saturday morning early and got back last night around 8 30. and finley takes i think three to four hours i wasn't sure because i didn't time it but i tell you it wouldn't take me much to move up here it's a really nice little town easy to get around so you've got everything at your fingertips there Kind of like I like it. I don't like a lot of hustle and bustle. I like the country setting, the little villages and towns. Okay, still wait. They're usually done by now. So here we are. We got our little river, our Parmesan, and our butter. This one's good till December. I'm going to put a little more river into that. Just a little more river around the Parmesan. Make it creamier. Mm. That's half pint, whole pint. So that makes a whole pint that I'm using to make it creamier. Because the noodles are kind of thick, you know. And my mother's, well, my mother's birthday was yesterday. She was 90 years old. And my sister's birthday is today. And my sister told me one time that when you have a birthday, you, you're supposed to celebrate all month. instead of just that day. I think uh, my friend told me, said somebody asked me, you mean it's Pam's anniversary week and she left her husband alone? And I said, sure did. You know, I earned the rights to these grandkids and going to college and all these things. I'm a grandma and I got bragging rights. Sure, I'm gonna go. <laughs> I mean, why not? <laughs> I got a good vehicle to travel in and can go. So it's it's working over here. It is really starting to get done. Let me show you. See how them noodles is puffed up there? And the chicken is right in with them. And see that garlic and the herbs in these noodles. I'm just wanting to make sure that they're really done good before I put them into all that goodness. So you know. Hi Joyce, how are you? I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Well, that's got a little snag in it. Okay, and then here is my river. This is all it consists of. Butter, real butter. Parmesan cheese. There was five ounces of it that I used. Five ounces in a tub like this. And the river, this is my island and the river of 
whipping cream around it. And then I've got the noodles and chicken right here and I'm about to put it all together. And now you all know that you wanna go out and make you some of this. You do not need these garlic noodles like this. I found them at Big Lots and I thought I would use them. Use regular egg noodles if you, that's what you got. And I didn't feel like making the noodles today for it, so I didn't. After all that traveling and walking and all the stuff, I just took the cheaters way out. And I'm, I do have the bottled jarred uh, Alfredo sauce, but I don't care for it. The only reason why it's on my shelf is because my grandkids do care for it. Which are not here now, so it'll probably sit on the shelf for a long time. So there's them. They're going to marry this and come together. Okay? Put all this stuff together. You don't really make a big mess making this, so... You know, you don't really make a big mess making this. I can't wait to put it together. Because that's where the goodness is. It's finally boiling again. Now you could put some garlic in this if you are a garlic eater you know I, I do have garlic and I probably could put a little bit in there um, I'll taste it and see if I want that garlic in there so today's Monday some people like Monday and some people don't I did not do anything for this holiday, Columbus Day. All I done was nothing. Nothing. I said nothing. Only making this. I think I did brush my hair and wash and stuff like that, but no clothes, no blankets. I did everything before I left, I thought. So, I want to tell you, you need to watch out who is trying to spam your phones and stuff because the other night I had a um, message on messenger from said it was my cousin and he said can you help me and I said what do you need and he said I need fifty dollars you could help me I said what for because that's my question every time they question me I question back what do you want it for what do you need it for and the person that had his phone, because I know it probably wasn't him that did it, if it is, I'd be surprised, said, can you help me or not? I said, it depends on what you need. And he said, I need $50 for drugs. I said, why do you need drugs? He said, I need pain medication. I said, no, I cannot help you. You know, somebody was grabbed a hold of somebody's phone and was acting like they were my cousin and I'm onto that stuff I'm smarter than that stuff I don't fall into that stuff and I just blocked him right away I said if that is my cousin that did that then he's blocked too because I won't play around with this kind of stuff so watch who is trying to take other people's profile and come in on you if you know the people that you have on your list then you'll know something about them. You'll know enough 
I don't have anybody I don't know enough about that I would know if it was them or not. Okay, let me see here. I've never done these kind of noodles before. Let's see if they're done. I'll throw a few in here. better than they smell. Mmm. Them taste like garlic and herbs. They're a whole lot better than they smell. I could eat them like this with some butter on them. Them's good. I'm looking forward to this. Do I think they're done enough to put in the or Island, river, butter, whatever it is. Mm. Well, it is 5:30, and I don't think I don't think I've eaten anything today because I've been too lazy. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add these noodles into our bowl okay while they're hot don't play around at this point What are they doing down here? Are they wanting to see my dinner? Yep. Okay, I think that's enough noodles. Huh? <laughs> okay, now you're going to take and you can take forks or whatever and you're going to just start mixing that. Mixing that up with your noodles. Take your time because I just splatted everything. You're gonna let them noodles sit in that Parmesan while they're hot. And then you're gonna take and mix them up and you're gonna have a good plate. Now they've sat there for just a little bit. Hi Lisa, how are you? And Elsie, how are you? You'll have to go back and replay this. This is the old Italian way of making your Alfredo. Mixing them all around. That's chicken. I thought it was cheese. Let me make sure that cheese melts real good. And like I said, I put an extra thing of um, Alfredo or um, whipping cream. I probably shouldn't have done that. But it'll all cool down in there together. You could probably add another type of cheese too if you wanted to, but you're just gonna keep mixing that up. That's the way, the real Italian way of doing your Alfredo. And I think the noodles has got enough garlic in them. I tasted them. Okay.
try to use the rest of them. I used to let them sit in there. Chicken. So that's all the noodles, and I got them all in there now, one pack. So you see, you go, got all that. Like I said, I put more whipping cream than usual. So what I'll do, take my plate, right there. And I'll take some of these noodles, put them on the plate, some chicken on that, some more goodness, just turn them. Okay, you only need one of these, okay? But as these cool down, that'll soak into them, but you really only need one of these. Everything is trial and error. So here's your goodness, your garlic um, noodles, and your chicken, and your homemade Alfredo with butter, and Parmesan cheese and whipping cream. Mm. <laughs> it's really, really good. So remember, this is not milk. It's whipping cream and butter and Parmesan melted all in together. So that little extra there really tastes good. Hmm. Hi, Naomi. You should try this, Naomi. It's homemade Alfredo garlic noodles. The, Alf the Alfredo sauce is all homemade. It's not out of the jar. And so you just keep stirring that. And all that cheese is just melted into there, and you can see it stringing, see? See that cheese string in there? I'm going to add a little pepper. Naomi, the reason why I did not answer the phone is because of this. I'm taping live. Is that a, oh, that's chicken. I thought that was a big glob of cheese. See that all stringed cheese there and everything? And there you are. Homemade Alfredo sauce on garlic noodles. This is supper. Who doesn't like um, stringy cheese in their food? I think this could probably be a restaurant dish. God bless you all. Hi Nancy, how are you? So if you like Alfredo, just make your own. It's really simple and easy. 
So I will talk to you all later. Have a blessed day. God bless you.